Good morning. It's Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Cursed Fig Tree. And our scripture is Matthew's Gospel, chapter 21, where our friend the tax collector writes, In the morning, as Jesus was returning to Jerusalem, he was hungry, and he noticed a fig tree beside the road. He went over to see if there were any figs, but there were only leaves. Then he said to it, May you never bear fruit again. And immediately the fig tree withered up. The disciples were amazed when they saw this and asked, How did the fig tree wither so quickly? Then Jesus told them, I tell you the truth, if you have faith and don't doubt, you can do things like this and much more. You can even say to this mountain, May you be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it will happen. You can pray for anything, and if you have faith, you will receive it. This story seems a little out of character for the patient, even-tempered Jesus, doesn't it? I mean, cursing a poor, defenseless little fig tree, really? But if you look a little deeper, you see what's happening. Jesus is on his way to cleanse the temple of money changers, overcharging sellers of sacrificial animals, and hypocritical, elitist rulers of the religious system. Cursing the fig tree is a warm-up. Jesus is doing stretches before the big game, and he uses the fig tree to school his disciples on what will be happening and how their faith must develop if they are to carry on the work of delivering the message of good news in faith and faithfully. Another issue that presents itself is the fact that God requires fruitfulness, particularly of those who profess to have faith and be leaders. In that region of the world is more than one kind of fig tree. Some, perhaps many of the types, put out their figs even before the leaves appear. The fruit is edible, but not nearly as tasty as the later ripened crop. The fig tree in this account already has its leaves an announcement that the fruit's there, and probably already ripe. Jesus finds a stick waving leaves, bearing no fruit. So, why curse the tree? Jesus is not just doing stretches for the big game later at the temple. He's teaching. The fig tree is a picture of the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the elders at the temple proclaiming God is there, but ignorant of the reality that God had turned his back on that place until it could be cleansed. Sadly, the temple has a lot of contemporary places of worship as offspring of that fig tree. The scriptures may be read and even revered, but it's far from lived by many who proclaim Christ as Lord. It's one thing to recognize you're a long way from being a fruitful Christian and begin to center your life on surrendering to Christ's teaching, to grow mature through discipleship and prayer and study of God's word. It's quite another thing to wave your fig leaves announcing your accomplishments for the kingdom of God and being as barren as what Jude called bragging clouds, rolling across the landscape, promising rain, but delivering nothing but more dust. For you today, determine right now that you will not be a Christian hot air bag boasting of spiritual maturity. Instead, go after that maturity with an open and humble heart. Commit to the surrendered life, your will, your time, your resources, strength, and all your heart, totally belonging to Christ, willing to follow and serve. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.